Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of To the Point. Today's topic of discussion is India's need for a national space law. First of all, let's see why it is in the news. India's growing presence in space exploration and commercial space activities demands the establishment of a comprehensive national space law. As the country expands its space missions, including Chandrayaan-3, Gaganyaan, and future endeavors like the Bharti Antriksh Station, the legal framework governing these activities remains insufficient. The need for a well-defined space law is essential to ensure safe, sustainable, and equitable space activities. Now let's discuss about the Outer Space Treaty of 1967. The Outer Space Treaty of 1967 lays down the foundational principles for space governance. It stipulates that space is for the benefit of all humankind, prohibits the appropriation of space territories by any nation, and holds countries responsible for activities in space, whether carried out by government or private entities. However, the treaty is not self-executing, meaning it does not automatically create enforceable domestic laws. Countries are required to enact their own national legislation to align their space activities with international agreements. Now let's talk about India's approach to space legislation. India has ratified key UN space treaties but its domestic legal framework is still in the works. While policies have been introduced, such as the Indian Space Policy and the In-Space Norms Procedure Guidelines, comprehensive national space legislation is still pending. This legislation is crucial to providing clarity and legal certainty for both governmental and private entities operating in space. India's current space regulatory efforts focus on establishing technical standards for space operations, authorizing non-governmental activities, and ensuring safety in space missions. However, the lack of a robust regulatory framework hampers the commercial space sector's growth and creates challenges for industry players, especially startups. Now lastly, moving on to importance of national space legislation. legal clarity and predictability. A clear legal framework provides a stable environment for businesses and investors, encouraging innovation and capital inflow. Regulatory oversight, a dedicated statutory authority, like in space, needs formal legal backing to regulate space activities effectively. Commercial development, the absence of clear licensing rules and FDI policies creates delays in space activities. Clear regulations, especially on insurance and liability, will help commercial entities mitigate risks and attract investments. Innovation and intellectual property protection. A national space law will secure intellectual property rights, encouraging partnerships between the government, industry and academia without excessive government control. Now is the time for practice question. Consider the following statements about Outer Space Treaty of 1967. 1. The treaty automatically creates enforceable domestic laws. 2. It allows for the militarization of space. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? A. 1. Only. B. 2. Only. C. Both 1 and 2. D. Neither one nor two. Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Thanks for watching. For more informative content, like share and subscribe. And do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications. For more informative content, like, share, and subscribe. And do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.